tracing objects from the surrounding. Hello friends. I am Mr. Hand. Friends, do you like listening to stories? Yes? So listen carefully. There was a rabbit. He had grown very good carrots in his farm. One day, he went to meet his king brother. But when he returned, all of the carrots from his farm were missing. When he saw this, he immediately called his friend, the clever fox. When the fox looked carefully at the farm, he found two types of traces of feet. Looking at those two traces of feet, the fox immediately told the rabbit, Look, the deer and the horse came in your farm. Hey, but how did you know that? Just look carefully. These dresses match the dresses of deer's feet and these dresses match the dresses of horse's feet. Oh, so these two have taken away all the carrots from my farm. See, friends, the fox identified who came to the rabbit's farm only by looking at the traces of the feet. Friends, we can also identify the objects in our surroundings by tracing them. So, let's learn tracing objects from the surroundings with the help of Tall Man and Thumpkin. Hello, I am Thumpkin. And I am Tall Man. Friends, today we will put the objects in our surroundings on the paper and dress them with a pencil. And yes, we will also see which shape we would get after tracing those objects. First of all, we will put this conical shaped birthday cap on a paper and dress it. Look, the base of this birthday cap is circle. So, we will get a circle shape when we trace its base. Now, we will dress the dice. Here, this dice's base is a square. So, we will get square shape when we put it on paper and trace it. Now, let's see that which shape would we get when we dress this pyramid-shaped toy. The base of this toy is a triangle. So, we will get triangle shape when we trace it. Friends, can you all guess which shape would we get when we trace this pencil box? Let us trace this pencil box too. The base of pencil box is rectangle. So, we will get rectangle shape when we put it on paper and trace it. Now tell me, which shape would we get when we trace this mirror? The base of this mirror is oval. So, we will get oval shape when we put it on paper and trace it. So, today we trace the objects in our surroundings and got the shapes like circle, square, triangle, rectangle and oval. Yes, so friends, remember that when we trace any object, we will get the shape according to its base. We will meet again in the next video. Bye! Hello friends, when we trace any object, we will get the shape similar to its base. So, today we learned tracing objects from the surroundings. In the next video, we will trace some more objects from surroundings and understand the shapes when we trace those objects.